Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we're going to go through the new Snake Man Reptilax. So it's a bit of a weird one this one, I don't think it was ever released. But he comes in the actual usual blister packaging and the little Snake Man logo there on the front. And on the back he's just got that full like card art, there's no cross cells, there's no uh, other figures for this wave and it but it's got the little knob there to the snake layer at the back so I can't wait for this one to be released this is one of the ones that I actually voted for when it came up on Mattel Creations but he's there he's fighting some other type of guard going on there as well so let's crack this one open and have a little closer look so getting them out of the actual box, he comes in two separate pieces with his tail. Now his tail has got all these like little spikes going down the back and it's got that two-toned skin there going on. And it's literally just on a peg. And there is a little peg hole in his backside there. And it just, let's have a little look slots straight in it's a pretty tight fit that's what she said but it does just turn round in that little peg hole it's quite a hard plastic it's not that flexible which is a good thing really because it does help him stand up as well without no uh, figure stand so looking at them with all the details on, I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to have a little look at some of the other figures because we know it's like a, a mix mash of other types. The main thing of them though is the, uh, the sculpt on his armour and obviously his head as well. Now with all these Origins, they all come with the same uh, swappable type of parts. So it comes with this little chissy here so his head will pop off arms hands pops off at the waist pops off at the boot of the cuff uh, the, as well and obviously the tail but he also come with this comic book i think i've seen this one with the uh, when lord grasp came out as well so but with this being the eu comic there is no speech bubbles throughout this one <clears throat> so let's look at the further details on his head so like I say it does bob bobble up and down but if I just pop this off and then bring it in a bit more closer he's got the little black tongue peeping out there and he's just that couple of two-tone green and that beady eyes so it's just a bit I still always found it a bit weird where it's got the green head and like the orangey tan body going on the actual armor for it it's all textured like little bobbles the little bobbles on the front have all been painted around that little snake logo but then round the back we just haven't bothered now he comes with three accessories he comes with the battle axe that we have seen with i think was it a uh, ram man and also a version of um he-man as well battle armor he-man maybe i think it might have been you have got the snake shield and it's just got that little twisty clasp on the back but nothing that we've seen before and also triclops's sword as well he also comes with that so he's got two gripper hands <coughs> one for the sword one for the battle axe 
and you can also clip on the little shield so you've got them coming in there <clears throat> so you've got them coming in there ready to go into battle but with his legs he's obviously got like the uh, the standard type of he-man arms and chest the legs I'm gonna have to have a little look at the other figures to see which of these legs are it might is it I don't know if it's a king hiss maybe it's got these like ridges going across he does have a new gauntlet on one of his arms he hasn't got that on the other one it is it's actually a king hisses legs that they are reusing on this one and then they are also reusing clawfuls boots or feet I actually think the gauntlet is a new sculpt on there but yeah it's good I am made up that uh, they've actually released that I didn't actually think we would get this ever in the line but let me know your thoughts drop us those comments so I view carried on with this line especially through the additional ones that was never released or you just sticking to the actual 80s re-release type of versions of the Origins while you're there dropping those comments do the usual with the like subscribe and tickle that little bell notification but thanks for checking in and I will catch you on the next one take care